having oh my god you careful son you've been bitching about a <laughs> hip for the last two weeks i blew my hip out <laughs> you know that's personal <laughs> damn hip injury got me i'm talking about healing when you're cut wide open i cut myself that night that <laughs> healing itself up and you have a <laughs> immune system i have a great immune system so I don't great, get you sick. get sick constantly. No, I don't. When I go out and there's a hair in my food, I'll pull the hair out and just keep on going at it, buddy. My what the burrito. hell does that have to do with anything? It helps with your immune system. Son, what's my nickname? I'm more than ready. John, the camera better be rolling or you're going to miss a nugget column. No. Wolf Tech Nation, we got it. We are finally here. I mean, we're finally here with this group set. Let's just it's, put it that it's way. The, I, I believe the group set is the final touches of the complete Yeah, that's build. what I mean. Yeah. Do a little bit of mail, and then when we get done with that. Very little bit of mail. Yeah, very little bit of mail. Just a little bit. Very little bit of mail. Then we will get to the LT Woo group set that we yes. will be installing today s lynn i know you're watching out there yep. thank you so much for hooking us up with the group set now this group set was a budget group set 51 dollars. you guys will see all what it comes with a 10 speed group set we were going to put a, a shimano m6000 dior derailleur on there and just kind of piece it together and try to do the best budget we can and we we're looking at the lt woo it's just things were getting tight little did we know eslin was way ahead of us and had ordered us one and let us know hey man i got you guys i um, sending you an lt woo group set yeah. we will give it an honest review so all you guys out there that are looking at this group set uh possibly to order if you have a little bit of time to wait um we're going to be installing it today talking about it a little bit and then when we get done with that um, we'll pretty much be putting the finishing touches on the Project Humpty Dumpty, our Schwinn Taft build. And uh, then the next video after that, I guess, is going to be the real-time review. But um, let's go ahead and get into some mail. There's a couple pieces of mail. There's a few a couple. pieces of mail. Then we're going to look into that. Break it open, show you guys what we got. Oh, break it open? Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Bud Light Ultra. No, Platinum. Bud Light Platinum. I'm not even sure what that is. First piece of mail. Let's see what it is. I don't like any blur. Um, oh, okay. Not, it is. Uh, not bicycle related. Well, like it most, is, sort of. A mount adapter, an EF, uh, EF EOS M mount adapter for Canon. We shoot with a Canon M50, and uh, this was very budget. <laughs> How much was this? Uh, like 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Uh, that was what was in the mail. We don't oh, open no, any sure. mail when we get it. We save it for this, half Tuesday. Well, this is so we could use EF lenses on the M50. We don't know what this is either. Be careful when you open it, it's what he said. All right, yeah. Not sure what this is, but with one of our subscribers, Ramsey as we call him, R-A-M-5-E-Y, kind of funky with it, sent us a piece of mail. He said, man, be very fragile. Be, be very, very careful. And, very then they, careful. and then he didn't write fragile, so they folded the damn they thing. They folded and put it? our mailbox. Let's see what it is here. Cut it? Are you serious? I cut the top of it. Oh, dude. Uh-oh. Oh, this looks good. Okay, well, careful, careful. Oh, I'm careful. Just calm down. He said careful, and you're just, you're, you need dude. to. Dude. Oh, dude. Those are awesome. Oh, man. Look at these decals. Like the old school GTs, you know? The little uh, throwback. Oh, those are sick. Did you know what they were going to be? No, I had no clue. Dude, Ramsey, thank you. I was like, did dude. he draw something? Is it a coloring of something that he did? Sketched out something? Decals, GT decals. Thanks, dude. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at the LT Woo group set. What we have all been waiting for. I know we have. Now, $51. This is everything it. Damn it. I don't like the way that looks on my look. Why is my face so jacked? Well, now it's face you're giving. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go over what the group set comes with. Now, it's got the LT Woo A7 quick shifter. 
It's a whole A7 group yep. set. Yep, 10-speed, whole A7 group set. Feels pretty quality. I thought it was going to feel a lot cheaper than that, you know, but it actually yeah, it has some... it feels better than I thought. It looks better yeah. than I thought. It doesn't look as good on the internet. It comes with the Cam C 10-speed chain. The cassette is a 11 to 42 tooth. Uh, it comes with a lock ring, your other two cogs, an adapter, and then the 11 to 42 tooth cassette. This is just like the one I have on my GT. I've not had any issues with this guy so far. Um, and one thing I do like about, I don't know if we said when we got the one for the GT, is it's drilled out. You see all those little holes? I do like the drilled out version as opposed to the uh, solid. Take a look at this guy here. So it's got the print up on the top. A little jockey wheel up here, which are plastic. They're not aluminum or anything. Uh, it feels decent quality, but it doesn't have anything as far uh, I was getting a lot of questions on if it had a clutch. It doesn't look like it has a clutch to me. It looks just pretty simple derailleur um, and the uh, tension. Decently tight. We'll see how it does on the TAF, but let's go ahead and start. Look, if it works at all, if it works at all, it's going to be a huge, huge upgrade just because that terrible one that the Schwinn TAF came with originally was god awful. It's got to beat that Pro Rush. Yep. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the cassette on the wheel set here. This is the uh, WTB wheel set with the Novatech hubs on it. Remember, this wheel set was $159. Yes. Very budget. So if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys check it out. Oh, yeah. And this hub go takes up to a what size? 11? This hub or? takes up to an 11 speed, right? Yeah. I just love that this whole group set comes with everything. I mean, that's just so cool, you know? So this here is a uh, cassette lock ring tool that we're going to be using. Uh, we'll put a link to this below in the description. This one's got a whole bunch of wear on it. I use it all the time. If you do have this group set and you're wanting to change it to the bike that you currently ride, you will also need a chain whip. And this definitely helps taking off that cassette. What? It's a chain whip. But if you guys ever uh, are just transferring this to a new bike or a new build and you need to take off your old cassette, chain whip will be in the description as well. Uh, we'll put a monkey wrench link in the description as well. <laughs> <laughs> we should. We should. What size wrench is that? Yeah. Come on now. All right. I think that looks pretty sweet on there, huh? It looks good. And it sounds good. That hub sounds really good. Novatec hub. And uh, remember, guys, the wheel set came with the, uh, even with the tires, the Continental X Kings came with them. 2.2s. Two we're going to start with those, but we're going to quickly be testing the ones from your boy Magnum. Yeah, we're going to start with these guys, uh, the tires for the real-time review, just how we got it. And then uh, Magnum hooked us up with some uh, specialized mountain bike tires. We're going to be using 29ers. All right, so now I'm going to uh, put the derailleur up there. And then what we're going to do is, uh, remember guys, if you have been following this half build... Uh, we're going to weigh it. I'm sure a lot of people are curious about that. And if you guys are just tuning in this video for the LTU group set, you might want to go back and look at this whole TAF build and where it's come from, you know, starting from the uh, initial impressions video. We got this done now. We're going to go ahead and put the shifter on there. Remember, I have to use all the TAF's housing that it came with because it's kind of specific to the bike. So we're going to use all that, not a problem. And then once we get done and we hook it up to the derail, we're going to put a chain on it and let's see how it acts out of the box. Let's see if there's no... Uh, tuning necessary that's like the ideal setup right there that would be a dream if that was the case especially what this bike's been through um <laughs> what i've been through on the trails so let's go ahead and put that shifter on there and let's check her out and see if she works one thing i noticed uh, before i ran this all the way through the derailleur is right when i was about to put it through there it doesn't have a tensioner screw on the housing cable now the tensioner screw on the old uh derailleur as you can see, is right here at the top. That's the tensioner screw. This derailleur doesn't have that. So I'm going to unscrew this and see if uh, maybe we can fit it, if we can screw into this so we can have that little bit of adjustment. Uh, it's not going to fit. So we will not have any kind of adjustment outwards on a little bit of a quick adjustment. So that's something that this doesn't come with. All right, now before we uh, start dealing with the derailleur, and getting it all functified, we are going to start working on the uh, resizing the chain. All right, now let's go ahead and start working on this derailleur and getting it tightened up and all situated. This is going to be interesting. God, I really hope that everything just goes smooth. So you want to make sure that your shifter, your shifter up there, is in the lowest setting on your cassette before we do anything. Right? Mine's already set to the lowest point. Now I just want to make sure that chain is somewhat lined up here and here. And then that's when I'm going to go ahead and tighten it and then we'll start working off of that. 
I'm lined up on the back side here on the chain and I have my excess still here. Do not cut this. Whatever you do, don't cut it yet. We're about to shift this guy and see if he shifts. Okay. I'm going to stand over there. I'll put the camera back here. We're on the lowest cog setting right now on the first set of teeth on the cassette. Let's do it. LT Wu A7 10 speed derailleur whole group set. There's the first jump. There's number two. There's number three. Oh, jump to four. Number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we still got one more. It was on the count of four. All right, now we're going to have to uh, definitely do some tuning. It's still a little crunchy. So we're going to do a little bit of tuning and then I will see you guys back here hopefully shortly. Alright guys, well I went ahead and did some tuning to it. Not too much. I don't want to get overboard on that because things can go really bad real fast, especially when you're tired and working on limited sleep. But I will say I did get it tuned decently. It's still getting caught up here on the first three cogs a little bit, but that's going to take some uh, some work to do and I think a lot of that has to do without having any kind of uh, that tensioner screw back here. You know that little one that usually comes with derailleurs. It didn't have one of these, but let's see how it shifts. Like I said, it's gonna take some more work, but I just don't wanna spend all night doing it. Shifting okay. Um, I noticed on the top, when you go all the way up to the very top cog, you have to really press that thumb in all the way to get it. If you just wait for it to click, it's not jumping at all. But uh, I think you see that shifter too. We're using my thumb on both uh, going up and down, but. Decently smooth. Um, it's just going to take some more work. But that and then, you know, it's getting used to the shifts, like there, kind of help it a little bit. But as far as the quick shifting goes and quick shift ability, it's a shifter I'm definitely going to have to get used to. Is a budget one. I'm not saying that's, that means it's not good, but probably just a little bit more hands on than most uh, group sets out of the box. But I'm going to cut this. Then we are going to uh, we're going to put up on the scale and see what the Project Humpty Dumpty weighs overall budget bike. Pretty light. What do you think it weighs? I have no clue. Oh my gosh! Moment of truth. Thirty point two four pounds. Wow, that is light for a twenty nine er bike, huh? All right, guys. Well, this has been an awesome build. I can't wait to ride the thing. But uh, the zoom brakes, man, everything is going to be great. Everything is going to be new whenever we're out there on the trails. But we appreciate you guys watching Wolf Tick videos. And uh, perhaps another build here pretty soon. We've been talking about starting all over with a new GT Aggressor Pro. Tell us what you guys think in the comments. Do you want to see a new GT Aggressor Pro budget build? Do you guys be interested? Would you guys watch it like my other GT Aggressor Pro? Uh, getting the all new uh, 2021 edition might be something we might be looking into. But uh, as always, guys, I'm glad uh, we got to install that. Hopefully everything, all the kinks get worked out here pretty soon before we take it on the trails. And I'm glad you guys have been with us on this journey. And let's just keep it being a fun ride. We appreciate you watching Wolf Tick videos as always. And please like, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget the questions I asked you. But thanks, guys.